This is the session number three of this week. We are going to continue with this topic. But we are like, uh, have some exercise. about this um, this topic because we were saying that we are going to have uh, some exercise in which we are going to see some uh, uses of the adjectives and in this case we are going to see the uses for the um, adjective describing a house so we are going to begin with this uh, part of the topic because uh, we were saying and that um, we are going to use three days of this week to uh, use this whole topic. So in this case, we are going to have the day number three, and this is the last day in which we are going to see the adjectives. Uh, tomorrow we are going to change uh, the topic, I mean, uh, on Friday, because we are not going to work uh, tomorrow, but on Friday, we are going to have another topic, but we are going to end with these exercises and all of the things. So we are going to begin with the topic that we are going to develop tonight. And we are going to see what is the topic about. And the topic is adjectives to describe a house. So that is the thing that we are going to develop today. That is describing a house. We are going to learn how to describe a house. So in that case, we are going to see some vocabulary because um, I was saying that we are going to use a specific vocabulary, a specific adjectives to describe something. So in this case, it's for describing a house. So we are going to have the vocabulary. Then we are going to have like two or three exercises in which we are going to use those adjectives but first let me tell you that i'm going to send to the group a document in which you are going to find a, a list of adjectives that are in comparative and superlative form so i will send the document it is like nine page it is an, a document that has Yes, I think nine pages in which you are going to have the adjective in positive form. Then you are going to have the adjectives in comparative form. And then we are going to have the adjectives in superlative form. So I'm going to send that document to the group right now because it is necessary that you have that kind of information because it is like very useful for you. So let me send the document first, and then we are going to continue with the topic. So let me see. If I can find the document that I have for you. So right now you have the document on the group. Les mandé un documento donde ustedes van a encontrar una lista de adjetivos 
eh, en su forma positiva, en su forma eh, comparativa y en su forma superlativa. So, eh, ahí es donde ustedes van a encontrar esas tres formas para que ustedes lo vayan usando más adelante. But that is the, uh, the last part of the superlative and comparative adjectives. Now we are going to use this topic that is the adjectives to describe a house. Vamos a ver un pequeño vocabulario que nos va a servir para describir una casa. And in that case, it is going to use to, um, to talk about our house and the other houses. So we are going to begin with the vocabulary. In this case, we are going to have the vocabulary in English and also in Spanish. So we are going to have the uh, English word and the meaning in Spanish for the vocabulary, because in this way it's easier to understand um, the use of this vocabulary that we are going to use for uh, this topic. So let me take this a little shorter. Here. And we have the first word that is beautiful. I'm going to write the uh, vocabulary in English first, and then I'm going to write it in Spanish. So we are going to see all the English words, and then we are going to see the meaning. So in that case, you can uh, say the meaning in your mind, like, oh, I know what is that word, or I know the meaning in Spanish of that word because it is like an exercise that we can perform uh, while I am writing the Spanish meaning for each word.
So here we have the list. We have like not a lot of words because we are going to use just the most common words that we can use for describing a house. And we have the vocabulary in English. We are going to say the words and then we are going to write the Spanish meaning because in that case, it is better for us to understand and to use those words for describing our houses. So we begin the list of the vocabulary with the word beautiful, grand, fabulous, modern, safe, untidy, big, boring, crawl, fancy or luxurious, noisy, old fashioned, small, warm or hot, quiet, clean, cool, cozy, comfortable, dark, dirty or dirty, smart or posh, fantastic, plain or simple, spacious, horrible, pretty, tidy, enormous, light or bright, tasteful, trendy, and ugly. So there we have some words that we can use for um, this kind of activity in which we are going to describe um, our houses. In this case, we have uh, these very basic uh, words or the in the long list, of adjectives that we have because we know that we have a lot of adjectives we are going to take these ones and we are going to use it for um, our houses remember that we have a lot of words that we can use as an adjective in this case you can add the colors you can add numbers and you can add another words that you know that they are function as adjectives but in this case, we're going to have just this vocabulary. Now, we are going to see what is the meaning in Spanish. So we are going to begin with the first one. For this one, beautiful, we know that in Spanish this means Bonita o bella. But we are going to use bonita. In this one, cramp, maybe this one is not like a very um, a used word or we don't have like the meaning in Spanish right now, but this one means estrecho. Cramped is estrecho. This one is easy to understand, fabulosa. The next one also, moderna. Then we have safe, que es segura. Untidy, que es desordenada. Big, grande. Boring, aburrida. And in this case, it's not related to an activity. It is maybe related to the color, um, the furniture, um, and the things that we have in our house. Maybe it looks like boring because of the construction or the things that we have in our house. Esto no se refiere a que nuestra casa sea aburrida, que no nos divierte, porque esta es una actividad diferente. Se refiere a eh, que la construcción de la casa nos parece aburrido. Ya nos aburrimos de ver lo mismo en nuestra casa. La decoración, el color, los muebles, all of the things. So in that case, it is boring. Then we have crowd, that in this case is poblada o okay, que hay muchas personas. O abarrotado, también lo podemos decir. Abarrotado. Or we can say poblado. But in this case, we are telling that it has a lot of people in that place. Then fancy and luxurious means something that is um, like lujoso. 
algo que es lujoso, caro, o que es elegante o de fantasía. Noisy, ruidoso. Old fashioned, pasado de moda. Again, we are talking about maybe the color, the furniture and all of that things. Um, because we are not talking about uh, fashion, we are talking about something that we have in our houses. For example, the doors, uh, the windows, um, the paper that we are using for the walls or something like that. Then a small, pequeña. Warm or hot, puede ser tibia o caliente en el ambiente. Quiet, silenciosa. Because in this case, we are talking about the house. Clean, limpia. Cold, fría. Then we have cozy, que es acogedora. Comfortable, cómoda. Dark, oscura. Dirty, que es sucia. I mean, I, I was on. Yes, I have different. And in this one, smart. We know that smart is something inteligente, but also it means elegante. No solo eh, significa inteligente, también significa elegante. And in this case, we have like the other one that is posh, that is telling us that is referring to the word elegante in Spanish. Así que en este caso no es que sea una casa inteligente. Maybe it could be, but in this case is elegante, algo elegante. Fantástico. Plain or simple, que es algo simple, que no tiene nada relevante, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm back again, and let me see. I mean, I don't know if I am like, I change the, the sound and I don't know if I am sounding well. Me escuchan bien ahorita porque se cambió lo del sonido. No sé si me logran escuchar. Sí. Yes. sí. Ok, thank you. When it disconnects from the internet, it change uh, something about the sound. So I was worried about that thing. So we are going to end with the vocabulary because we have uh, some words more. In this one, we have spacious, que es espaciosa. Horrible, that is, horrible. Pretty, que es bella, o también lo podemos utilizar como bonito. Tidy, que es ordenada. Enormous, que es enorme. Light or bright es iluminada o brillante. Peaceful que es uh, pacífica. Trendy in this case is um, a la moda o moderna. And ugly that is fair. 
So we have these words that we are going to use for the description of our houses. And we can add more adjectives to this description. It is not like you are just going to use these words that I have for you. In this case, you can use all the words that you want to describe your house. And in this case, how can we use these words uh, when we are going to describe our house? We need to think about the place in which we are living right now. And we are going to say, oh, my house is big. It has four rooms and a bathroom. It is like, cozy and beautiful. I like the color of the walls because they are white, green, blue. I don't know what is the color. And we have a backyard that is el patio, a backyard full of plants and flowers and all of the things. So in that case, when we are making a description, we can use some um, sentences in which we are going to use for describe that place in which we are living. My house, this is just an example. You can uh, create your own description. My house is big and spacious because it has four rooms. a living room and a bathroom. I like the color of the walls because It is green or a light green. When I am home, I feel in peace because it is peaceful quiet and cozy. Mm. See? It has very comfortable rooms in warm rooms. So we have some uh, phrases here in which we're using. In this one, we're using big, spacious, Or light green in this case is the color that we are using for this drive. Then I feel at peace because it is peaceful here. Quiet and cozy. And in this case, if you can see that I was writing this word with S, it's because we have like two different uh, written systems. In this case, in the American English, we can uh, write this word with S, but in the British English, we write it with Z. So it is not like, it is incorrect. It is like they change from uh, country to country. Then comfortable and warm.
So I am using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adjectives to make a short description of my house. En este caso estamos haciendo una pequeña, muy pequeña descripción de nuestra casa, eh, poniéndole algunos adjetivos. Si queremos utilizar más adjetivos, nosotros podemos hacerlo. Si queremos utilizar menos, that's okay. So, we are going to see the first exercise in this case. And we are going to write five sentences. We are not going to use this um, paragraph like this. You're going, I mean, you're just going to write some sentences using adjectives. You can use this list or you can use another adjective to describe your house. Vamos a escribir cinco oraciones donde vamos a describir nuestra casa utilizando estos adjetivos o algún otro adjetivo como lo son los colores y cosas así para describir nuestra casa. Five sentences. Vamos a, a, a tener nuestras cinco oraciones and I will ask you to share the uh, sentence and I will uh, say your name and you are going to tell me your sentences and we are going to choose some of them and we are going to have like a list of examples. Vamos a hacerlo de esa manera. Ustedes hacen sus oraciones. Yo voy preguntando a cada uno de ustedes que me compartan sus oraciones y vamos a ir escogiendo algunas de ellas y las vamos a ir escribiendo para tener una lista de ejemplos. Así que you are going to have some minutes to complete the uh, exercise number one. And then you are going to share the sentences and we are going to write the list. So you have time right now. When you are ready, you can tell me or I will tell you when the time is over. So we're going to begin writing the sentences. Uh, teacher, we are going to tell you some samples, right? Right now, you have time to write your sentences and then I will call you by your name. Oh, all right. Thank you. You're welcome.
know if you have your sentences ready or you need one more minute because I'm going to begin with the sentences. But let's see. Okay, we are going to have our list of examples here. And we are going to begin with Oscar Armando Sayas González. Oscar. Oscar, do you have your sentences? Let's see. We have here the sentence of Oscar Melendez. Let's see. My house is big. We have heard the first one. It has five rooms, a garage, no backyard. My house is cold because it's between the trees. Okay. My house is cold. In this case, we are going to use among because we have more than two trees in this case. Okay, we have two sentences already. Let's see. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, next one, Patricia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you tell me your sentences? My car is new. Uh huh. My dog is fat. Uh -huh. My sister is ugly. Okay. My mom is beautiful. Okay. My son is intelligent. Okay. Good. Thank you. Patricia, can you tell me another name of your partners? Puedes decirme el nombre de alguno de tus otros okay. compañeros para continuar? Okay, teacher. Mm, Sarai. Sarai. Ramirez. Okay. Sarai, thank you. Okay. Um, my house is beautiful and clean. Uh, the color is orange and also my house is very safe and I like so much. And my house because it's big and cold and I love it. Ah, okay, thank you. My house is big and cold. Okay, Sarai, can you tell me another name? Okay, Nancy. Nancy. Nice. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me your sentence, please? My house is small, mm -hmm. but it's very comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. okay, it's comfortable. My house is in safe place. Okay. Mm -hmm. My house is in safe place. Okay. And my house mm -hmm. has uh, three rooms, 
a living room and a bathroom. Okay. Okay, Nancy, thank you. Tell me another name. Claudia. Claudia. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, can you tell me your sentences, please? Uh, 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 we have like uh, something, something is happening with your uh, audio. Hello? Hello? It's very bad. Very bad. bad. Yes, if you can write a sentence on the chat, it is okay. Don't worry. Tell me, Alicia. Can I say my sentences? Yes, please. Okay. My sentences are, uh, my room is enormous. My dress is old fashioned. My life is fabulous. My house is noisy and my neighborhood is quiet. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you. We are going to have two more. And we are waiting for the sentences of Claudia, I guess. Luis? Liz Sigüenza. Okay. My house is big and noisy. Her house is peaceful and warm. His house has three rooms, two bathrooms, and a big backyard. And your house is too small. Thank you, Luis. And the last one, your house is too small. We have another one and it says, my house is clean and cold because there are many trees. My, okay, uh, let me see. Victoria, tell me Victoria. Okay, I am going to tell you some examples that I have. So okay. my house is a small house, but I like to live in my house because mm -hmm. I think it is a beautiful house that I feel comfortable. Um, and also I think that my house has another quality that I love it. Um, moreover, my house is a peaceful place and I think that my house is a good location because I'm living in a central location. And also usually my house is very warm Okay, thank you. Perfect. That's very, very good. Okay, let's see. We have some examples here uh, of descriptions of our houses. And we have my house is big. My house is cool because it is among trees. My car is new. In this case, we're talking about something that um, 
belongs to the same uh, place. My house is beautiful and clean. My house is uh, big and cold. My house is small, but very comfortable. My house has three rooms. My neighborhood is quiet. My house is, up, is, is big and noisy. Her house is peaceful and warm. Your house is too small. My house is clean. My house is small. My house is a peaceful place and my house is warm. So all of that uh, sentences are a description of our houses. And remember that we also have a lot of work more to describe our house. So in this case, we are going to have another exercise, but in this case, you are not going to write sentences or anything like that. En este otro ejercicio, que es el ejercicio número dos, no vamos a escribir oraciones ni nada por el estilo, ni vamos a decir eh, descripciones. In this case, we are going to have some adjectives that we have in the previous list that we know what is the meaning in Spanish. And we are going to see other adjectives and we are going to make or to write the positive of those adjectives. Vamos a tener los adjetivos que ya tenemos en nuestra lista, de los cuales ya vimos la traducción al español. Y les voy a poner otra lista de adjetivos y vamos a ir haciendo like matching the positive of the adjective that we have. Vamos a ver cuáles son los opuestos in this case. Es ver cuál es el que concuerda con cada uno de estos adjetivos. I'm going to write the adjectives. Then I'm going to write the, or have the, the table. And then I'm going to give you time to read the adjectives and to make the connection between the adjectives. And then we are going to write the positive of all the adjectives. Tres cosas vamos a hacer. Uno, voy a escribir todos los adjetivos. Let's see. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Um, voy a escribir los adjetivos y voy a escribir la tabla donde van los otros adjetivos. Los vamos a ver, vamos a tener tiempo para analizarlos, hacer las conexiones y luego vamos a ir poniendo las respuestas. So, we are going to begin with the activity number two. And is matching the adjectives in the box that is like the adjectives that we are going to have outside. And we are going to write with the positive. In this case, we are going to say what is the positive of this uh, adjective. So I'm going to have it like this. Wait, what is this one? The notes, the, the what? You need to see the, the whole information of the of the classes or something like that. So we have the following adjectives. We have tiny, we have small, we have spacious and roomy, that is the same one. Then we have old fashioned, cheap, in this case, cheap is barato, light, high sailings, high sailings in this case is like, tiene el techo bastante alto, quiet, attractive, safe, 
tidy. Clean. Buttable. And relaxing that is in the same uh, category. Means with M. Estos son los adjetivos que nosotros vamos a colocar junto con los que ya vienen en la tabla. I'm going to write the ones in the table. Don't worry. So when you are going to see the table, you're going to say, ah, that is the word that is opposite with that one. For example, we have tiny. The tiny is something very like small. It is not the same with tidy. They are different. So we are going to see the other one. And we have thirteen, like this. We have here untidy, enormous, cramped, Okay, so we have here these uh, adjectives and they are not like very complicated to see what are the, the, uh, the other adjectives that we are going to use. We have untidy, enormous, cramped, uncomfortable, que es incómodo, expensive, que es caro, modern, big, noisy, ruidoso, ugly, dangerous, que es peligroso, Low ceilings, que es como tener el techo bastante bajo. Eh, dirty and dark, que es oscuro. So, I'm going to have it like this. Because I need to see the other adjectives here. Like this. So. Take your time and read the, the adjectives, make the connection, and we are going to write the answer for that uh, exercise. Así que, léanlos, vayan haciendo sus conexiones, tienen un par de minutos, ya vamos a poner cuáles son los opuestos de cada uno de ellos.
I say, okay, um, I think that we are ready. So we are going to begin one by one and you are going to help me saying the adjectives that correspond to the ones that we have here. For example, for the first one, untidy, what is the, um, the adjective that we need? ¿Cuál adjetivo necesitamos para untidy? ¿Cuál es el opuesto? Tidy. Good. Good, tidy. Enormous. Small. Mm, yes, we can use a small, but... Tiny. Yes, in this case, we are going to use tiny. Sí lo podemos utilizar los dos, small and tiny, Pero es más común que usemos small con otra palabra. We are going to have it for later. For cramped. Remember that cramped. Is spacious. Good. For cramped, we need spacious. Or roomy. Porque en este caso estamos diciendo que es algo que está lleno, abarrotado. And spacious, algo espacioso, con mucho eh, espacio para estar. So in that case, it is the opposite. Uncomfortable. Com comfortable. Good, comfortable. Amazing. Expensive. Cheap. Good. Cheap. Modern. Old fashioned. Good. Big. A small. For this one, we are going to use a small. Good. Noisy. Quiet. Yeah. Good. Quiet. Ugly. Uh, attractive. Good. Dangerous. Hey. Good. Safe. Low sailing. High, uh, high sailing. Good. Dirty or dirty. Clean. Good. Clean. And the last one, dark. Light. Amazing. Light. So in that case, we have like two um, different adjectives that correspond to the same thing. So in that case, it's the opposite of the same adjective that we have in the table. Okay. This is the last activity that we are going to perform today because it is time to end the session. Remember that tomorrow we are not going to have the session. It's, it's Independence Day. So we are going to see each other on Friday. So have a really good night and see you on Friday in the session number four of this second week. Teacher, Tell me. From Friday. Thank you. We're going to have a session Friday. I guess it is possible, but if we have more information about the sessions, we are going to notify on the groups. But Right now, okay. we can Thanks. say that we are going to see each other on Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Teacher, can you pass me the, the or share me the link of the document? Okay, I Please. will post the link again on the group. Which group? Uh, what's up? Are you there or not? Not. No? I'm not. Okay. No. Um, how can we do it? Do you have a connection or a, a, you talk with another of the participants? Not really. Um, let me see how can we do it. Uh, if we have the session on Friday, I'm going to um, 
take your number and I will send to you the link. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. No, mañana no hay clases. We don't have the session tomorrow. Okay, thanks teacher. You're have welcome. a nice night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, bye. Good night.